Hello, good day. Hello, good day, bro. I'm your host, Club, the host of Club Sports. We're coming to you live right here at Leesburg, Virginia, Long County area. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get you guys to find the Steelers to read the, the uh, Bears. Last night, 29 to 27, even though there's a bit of a controversial call. I'll tell you what that was. Get you guys to find the Knicks to read the Sixers, 103 to 96. Get you guys to find the Lakers to read the Hornets, 126 to 123. You also had, um, let's see here. You you also had the Nuggets defeating the you know, the Nuggets de- defeating the Heat by the way one thirteen ninety six and Jokic by the way got ejected after shoving uh, Markeith Morris not looking good there and also um, the fact that the Bulls defeated the Nets last night gives you guys to the vet and also I'll tell you who the eighth victim was in the um, Astro World tragedy by the way and then. Plenty more losses for Travis Scott, Jesse Drake, and Live Nation Entertainment Inc. And back, Pac-Man Jones is back, is arrested, is in, back in Chile yet again. And college basketball is back, everybody. So that's all the news you need to know on that. All right, so first things first, I'm going to start things up with the Feather Seals to feed the Bears 29-27, to by the way, guys. Now, there was a controversial call in the middle of that game last night. Cash is... Cassius, Cassius um, Marsh, by the way, he he was um, called for taunting, by the way, but he was not ejected. He was flagged for it, but it was a bit of a controversial call. He hip checked the ref, Tony Corrent, by the way. This is all after he said Big Ben. He does a little hip check. He, you know, you saw him do the, you know, saw him do the roundhouse kick. You saw him do the. Um, Hip check by hip check the ref after sacking Big Ben. So should Ca- Cassius Marsh be suspended for that? That was a bit of a controversy there, but honestly, this is not surprising. It's clearly not. So what are your thoughts on this controversial call that Cassius Marsh got for taunting? I mean, how is the, how is doing a roundhouse kick? How is that taunting? He's over with his teammates. How is that taunting? Really? That's just plain. It's just plain ridiculous. Clearly, it was. So, my stats for that call? No, I'm really not. So, this is all to, after you stack Big Ben. But uh, that's is, you think that's a, that's a terrible call? Either the ref got this one right, or did he get, get this wrong? Let me know in the comment section about that. I will definitely address my for sure. But that's everything you know. Other news here. I want to get into the Knicks to be the Sixers, one through ninety six. Orange Hills Randall had thirty one points, twelve rebounds, three assists, one steal. R. J. Barrett has scored. 15 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists, 1 block. Evan Fournier scored 11 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal. Emmanuel Quickly has scored 10 points and 3, three assists. Tyrese Maxey scored 16 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, 1 block. Andre Drummond had scored 14 points, 25 rebounds, 1 assist, and 2 blocks. Furkin Kirkman Kirk scored 19 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists, 1 steal. Seth Curry scored 14 points, 4 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1 steal. Oh my goodness. I got to tell you, the Knicks, they, they're doing pretty good. They beat the Sixers yet again without Joel Embiid, who still got COVID. So that's all there is I can say on that, everybody. Austin Lakers to the Hornets, 126-123 by three points. AD had three, 32 points, 12 rebounds, four assists, three steals, five blocks. Russell Westbrook had 17 points, 12 rebounds, 14 assists, three steals. Melo Carmelo, they scored 29 points, three rebounds, one assist, steal, and a block. Terry Rozier. Scored 29 points, 2 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. LaMelo Ball scored 25 points, 15 rebounds, 11 assists. Yeah, 15 rebounds, 11 assists, 1 steal on a block. Gordon Hayward had scored 21 points, 6 rebounds, 3 assists. Lakers are back now, so can Lakers get more games? Let me know in the comment section about, section about that. I will address my shipment. Also, another news, guys, that college basketball is officially back, and you'll see State Farm Champions Classic tonight, guys. You'll see Kansas and Michigan State, and you'll see um, Kentucky versus Duke. It's going to be some good games, guys. You can see all the other college basketball games tonight as well. So that's everything you need to know on that, everybody. Also, some other news that I also want to get into, by the way, that um, Nikola Jokic was ejected after shoving Marquise Morris. You guys saw how that game, how that play went down, though, right? But the Nuggets, they defeated the, um, the Heat 113-96. Now, Yuli Joker, who was ejected after shoving Marquis Morris, had 25 points, 15 runs, 10 assists, 2 steals, and blocks. Will Barnes had 25 points, 5 rebounds, 6 assists, 1 steal. Aaron Gordon had 10 points, 7 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 block. 
You also had uh, Jimmy Bucket score 31 points, 5 rounds, 8 assists, 1 block. I mean, Nikola Jokic was clearly ejected in that game, which he was for sure, Marquis Morris. And, and they showed a tweet, they showed a little Twitter war. Him and the um, the Morris brothers got a little bit of a Twitter war, though. So that's all there is. That's all there is needs to know in there. And that did not look good there. I'll tell you about that. And then this all started when they got into a locker room. We're trying to count you in the locker room. So what, what are your thoughts about that, everybody? Let me know in the comments section about that. I'll just, and you think that uh, Nikola Jokic, the Jokic, should be suspended? Let me know about that. I'll address my share everybody. That's everything you need to know on that. Also this. You had the Bulls defeat the Nets 118-95. Where DeMar DeRozan has scored 28 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 1 steal. Zach Levine had 24 points, 5 rebounds, and assists, 1 steal, and a block. Lonzo Ball had 11 points, 4 rebounds, and 3 assists. KD had 38 points, 10 rebounds, 4 assists. James Harden scored 14 points, 8 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, and a block. LaMarcus Aldridge scored 19 points, 7 rebounds, 1 steal, 2 blocks. So, Bulls, they beat, put a beat down on the Nets. I mean, wow, that was pretty good, though. So, your thoughts, everybody? Let me know about that. And also, just one thing I want to point to. Josh Allen, the um, the Bills quarterback, had the ball incident by another Josh Allen of the Jags. Josh Allen intercepts himself. I mean, wow. <laughs> you know, Josh Allen intercepts himself. Oh, my goodness. But the Jags would defeat the Bills by three points, nine to six. But, well, that says a lot right there. So let me know about that, but I'll address my share. That's everything you need to know on that. Also, guys, um, Adam Pamela Jones is back in jail for the bar fight he got to earlier this year at Clutch OTR in, um, Cincy, Ohio. So really not looking good for him. And he also got into after he lost it at a casino. So your thoughts about what are your thoughts, everybody? Let me know about the share. I'll just want to share, buddy. Also, guys, some other news I also want to get into, by the way, that um Damon Arnett has been released, released by the Raiders after he was um sending uh, death threats, by the way, threatening to kill somebody, and he had he had firearms on him, by the way, and you can see in the in the, in the video, by the way, in this TikTok video. And um, people are a little bit upset about this. This all stems after Henry Rooks III was uh, released after he got into that fiery car accident, by the way. And um, yeah, Raiders, they're, they're just absolute pieces of trash. Run. I could tell you about that. I mean, they, they did lose to the gym, which I'm very proud of. But clearly, Raiders, th there is more turmoil for them. Clearly there is. And sure, John Gruden got released after the sending the derogative emails, by the way. Henry Rux III arrested and charged for the D firing car crash, the DUI charges, and for um, bodily yeah bodily harm, and he I mean he get for, and gun possession charge as well, and for um, reckless driving. If he's convicted, he gets forty six years behind bars. So that's not look good for him. I can tell you about that. But he was released, and his NFL career is over. Damon Arnett, his career is definitely over because that uh, the, the uh, threatening threatening um, death threats that he sent out, threatening to kill somebody. And honestly, this this is just so terrible. Clearly, it's just terrible. So honestly, it, it's a really bad look for him. So honestly, Damon Arnett should be banned from the NFL, especially Henry Bucks III as well. And they're not getting no second chances ever again. I could tell you about that. So they're going to be forever exiled from the NFL, and no teams are going to be getting. That's all I can say on there, everybody. That's all there is you need to know. So that's that. And their careers are definitely over. I can tell you about that, everybody. Awesome other things I want to get into. The Grizz defeated the um, the Wolves 125 to 118. You had the Suns defeated the Kings 109 to 104. So that's all there is you need to know on there, everybody. And um, yep. Yeah, that's all to it. Also, guys, the um the Bucks, the defending NBA champs, they visited the White House yesterday. It's pretty pretty good. So you thoughts somebody on that? That's everything to know on that. Also, guys, um, other someone gets, by the way, the Caps to be the Sabres, 5-3. to Alex Oveshkin, he tied Brett Hall, scoring a 741st NHL goal. So big congrats to him on that. That's best news you got there. That's all that you know. Also, this, so guys, college basketball is officially back. You'll see Kansas versus Michigan State and Kentucky versus Duke. That is going to be, um, that's, that's going to be the State Front's Classic. You'll see the college basketball games. And even though March Madness is in 2022, that's all there seems to be. That's going to be amazing. But must see, must watch. And that's all there everything you know in that. So 
that's the best you can get there, buddy. That's all I can say. Also, guys, um, others I, w I also want to get into, by the way, that, um, let's see what we got here. One more time, birthdays out to um, Lou Fer Ferrigno, Emily Tyra. You also had um, Nicole, Nick, and it's going to be Nick and Vanessa, Late Latchy, Peppa, Salt Peppa, Scarface, Y2J, Chris Jericho. Who you'll see a full gear when it's Inner Circle, guys. They will take on America's top, American top team at full gear this Saturday. Watch A. Chris Jericho, Lay Bob Gibson, French Montana, Shelby Wolford, Cisco, MNEK, Alyssa Court. You'll see um, Sandra Denton, Pete Dunn, Annalie Tipton, Olivia Marine, Dylan Esteban, Alicia, Rotar, Rot Rotano. Kyle Rudolph, so some of your birthday wishes. Shout out sweet somebody. Please be sure you do some that. That is everything you need to know on that. That's all there is. I see on that, buddy. Also, some sad news here I want to get into that um Judy Bagwell, who's the mother of um Buff Bagwell, was deceased after she was battling dementia, by the way. So um really sad news here that um Judy Bagwell, who's 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 um Buff Bagwell's mother, was deceased this past Friday. Out of Shields Mountain Dementia. So my thoughts and prayers go to Buff Bagwell, all of his fan members, all of his fans, the WWE Universe, the viewers, subscribers, everyone out there. So it's really tough, awful news there. That's everything you know on that. And also, guys, some other things I want to get to, by the way, that an eighth victim of the um, Asheville tragedy has been unveiled. That will be Madison Dubisky. By the way, this is all during the Adis in the Asheville tragedy that happened um, last this past Friday. So um, it's a really sad thing though, and there's and there's plenty more lawsuits coming stemming coming in for Travis Scott, Jersey Drake, and he did send a. You can see a statement by the way, which he said. You can read a statement for sure, and also Live Nation Inc. They're being sued for failing to um keep the keep the the uh, fans, Asheville fans safe, and not enough security, not enough protection, any of that. So um, awful thing there. I just want to once again send my thoughts and prayers go out to um, the victims at the Astro World tragedy, all their family members, all their fans, the fa family members of the uh, Astro World victims that were deceased, eight of them that were deceased in the Astro World tragedy, all the um, beloved friends, colleagues, the fans, in particular the viewers, subscribers, is a um, horrific um, Astro World tragedy, tragedy that Travis World and and even Travis Scott, excuse me, Travis Scott. Jersey Drake and Live Nation Inc. are being sued for it, so they get repercussions for that. And even though Travis Scott has been arrested and charged for this, disorderly conduct and encouraging fans to jump through barricades and yeah, jumping through like barricades, jump jumping through like um barriers and all and all, all the other things, stampeding that it's just an awful thing. And also just um charging right through right through um bar barricades jumping jumping through all those uh, other obstacles out there so it's a really awful thing so travis scott's got to think for he's act i mean he did, i don't think and believe he didn't encourage fans this time when this eight when this uh, actual tragedy happened this past friday so um it's very clear though but police are still looking looking to see what the um what the causes of the deaths are and there and drugs didn't play a pivotal role in this so hopefully the um the authorities will look into this. They'll figure out who perpetrator was for judging fans with some sort of unknown drug that's out there. So um, that is all there is you need to know on that, everybody. And hopefully um, more deals can emerge. That's all, everything you need to know on that. That's all I can say on that, everybody. And um, that's all the students know. So that's all I got to say on that, everybody. That's all I can say on that. So, so also, guys, you think Mac Jones should be um, suspended? After he after he was accused of doing a dirty play on Brian Burns, you saw him twist. You saw him like literally twist his ankle. He's trying to keep him down, but that's just a little uncalled for. You think Mac Jones should be suspended for that play? Let me in the comment section about that. I'll just not sure. That's everything you know on that, everybody. That's all I can say. Also, guys, Bobby Lashley replaces Dominic Mysterio after Bobby Lashley defeated Dominic Mysterio last night on Monday Night Raw. So, your thoughts about that? 
And can Team Raw defeat Team SmackDown yet again? Or will Team SmackDown retaliate at Summer of Survivors? Let me know in the comment section about that. I will address my share by so everything you know on that. That's all I can say. And also, Liv Morgan gets a, gets a, gets a role with a satellite opportunity against uh, Becky Lynch, by the way. Someone down the road. That's all I can say on that, right? That's all they, everything you know on that. And I'm back for breaking news. Sometimes it's 11 days to win. So I'm a whole lot more than the closed sports board. That's it. Life's got to close sports board by any moment necessary. That's all I can say on that. And that's what's going to do right there, everybody. Your thoughts exactly on the Steelers defeating the uh, Bears 19-27 and a controversial call that catches Marsh taunting. I mean, was that really taunting? Let me know in the comments about the, the, the ref made a mistake. Let me know about that. I'll just want to share, but it's all you know on that. That's next to me in the 60s yet again, 103-96. Let me know what that was sure, buddy. I'll just want to share. That's the legacy between the Hornets, 21-26-123. Let me know the comments section about that. I'll just want to share, buddy. And your thoughts on Kansas versus Michigan State and Kentucky versus Duke. Who do you have winning those games in State Farm Classic? And there's some other college, college basketball games on later on tonight. Catch those. Tell us you need to know, and that's all I can say. Yeah, that's the legacy between the Hornets, 126-123. Last night, let me know about that. Thoughts of the Bulls defeating the Nets last night? Thoughts about that? Can the Bulls really get a playoff spot? Let me know about that. I'll just want to share, buddy. Your thoughts on the possible because we're waiting for Travis Scott and he was, he's already been facing numerous lawsuits from the actual tragedy that killed 80 individuals. 23 of them were dozens dozen injured and hospitalized as well. So your thoughts, everybody? And that's all I can say. Also, your thoughts on the, on the Bucks visiting the White House? The Bucks visit the White House, by the way. Let me know in the comments section about that. I'll just want to share, by it's all things I can say on that. And uh, that's all I can say. I'll be for breaking news. And I'll send your brother wishes out to um, Lua Ferrigno, Emily, Tyra. You got um, Nick and Vanessa Lechi, J Shelby Wilfred, Cisco, Emily K, Alyssa Court. So some of your brother wishes shall tweet him. And watching the Chris Jericho. So my brother wishes shall sweet him. Please be sure to do that. Everything you know, and that's all I can say about it. I'm back for breaking news. Turn times live on the next one. So on to a whole lot more in the clothes. Sports, whatever. Thanks, sports later. Everything you got to know. All I got to say about it. Take care, you guys. You guys have a good day. Good day. Please be safe with them. Bye.